I'm here with John and Alex for outside uh, Prenton Park, Manchester United 6, Tranmere 0. You got Andreas Pereira's shirt, which is yeah, a lovely little shout. Um, what did you make of the game today, John? Well, I didn't I didn't see that coming. I thought it might be 1 or 2 0, to be honest. And a real hard, hard, hard. Tranmere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, we got that goal from Maguire and we just never looked back, did we? So we saw his first goal, we saw uh, Delow's first goal. and. Um, Jesse's for a long time in the while. Well, I suppose he scored in the stand, didn't yeah, he? But yeah. he's, yeah. he's equaled his tally of last season already in January this season, which is good. Um, we ha you have to beat what's in front of you, but some have said it may be papering over the cracks. How do you feel about that? It is. Uh, I said before, I said to Jay, I said, it's a game we can't win because even if we do, everyone's saying that we should have done, and you know, and we've had to gone to town on it today, which is really what we should have done. Mm. But uh, yeah, proper banana skin today, wasn't it? We're not playing the, the best at the minute, you know, when you've got the, the pitch and uh, League One side, it had all the makings of a cup upset. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thankfully we, we did the job today and some fast, uh, fantastic football. Who, who stood out for you the most? Who, who do you think took their chance today? Uh, it's very hard. I know, I know, Alex, I know who Alex is going to say, so I'm not going to. I'm not don't, gonna, don't ruin his man of the match. I'm not going to ruin that. Um, I think it was hard, hard to really name it, uh, a, a man of the match. It, you know, all, all eleven. Six yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. And that Sergio again, clean sheet. It always comes in. Can always Someone come said in. earlier he should be starting ahead of De Gea in the first team. Now, do you do you think Alex had just said yes? Do you agree? I'd probably say, yeah, there's a few times, there's a few times he came out and he punches the ball, he'll command that area. That's something De Gea still needs to work on, really. So, yeah. What you say, De Gea, don't do that? No. So Romero in for De Gea? Yeah. Yeah? What, what I wanted to ask you, Al, seeing as you're interrupting me and your dad having a chat, is um, who, who's, who was your favourite goal, goal by today? Jones. Jones? Yeah. Were you believing in Phil Jones today? Yeah. I love that. My favourite goal was Martial, but that was obvious, right? Um, who was your man of the match? Jones. Jones? <laughs> You're not even going to say Andreas Pereira after you get shit, give you your shirt? Uh, uh, <laughs> and who do you want in the next round? Um, um, City, Liverpool, someone easy. Um, Liverpool. Tranmere again. Liverpool. <laughs> All right. Uh, right. I want to know, John, uh, what do you make of this uh, whole walkout thing? No, we shouldn't be doing it. Certainly on that minute, it's a bit, uh, bit disrespectful. I see you behind the walkout, but not the minute, or? Well, I don't think, uh, the, I've heard rumours that they should do a sit-in, which I think is much better, especially at a televised game, sit-in. Um, you know, How would that work? It would be right underneath, uh, you know, if you pick a TV game, you've got, you're right underneath the, the, the pundits there, and they'll just be singing and just refusing to go. I think that'll make more of a statement than actually walking out. So you're up for making a point, but just deciding on the right thing? Yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, we've we seen other teams, you know, that, like West Ham, they've done pitch invasions and all sorts, haven't they? So we do need to think of a collective. But yeah, I, I think it was just a throwaway treat, tweet that's been picked up on, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's important that, you know, we have a dialogue, like, as fans, it's difficult to do, but, you know, it's good that it's kind of opened it a little bit and like there's some sort of sign that something's going to happen. Definitely, yeah, something needs to do. It's all we can do, unfortunately. It'll probably have absolutely no effect whatsoever, yeah. but I think fans are so frustrated. You know, we've, we've seen like the Bruno from it. He's still, day, yeah. yeah, you know, he's still dra dragging on, you know, just just pay. You know, I thought we'd agreed the fee. Now we're trying to haggle over, you know, five million, which is a lot of money, but not, not in terms of United. And it, it's just so frustrating. We're so desperate for midfielder and it'll, it'll answer a lot of problems. Therefore, you think we're going to sign anyone this summer, uh, this January? I don't know. No. Oh, God, I thought we were going to get some positivity there. <laughs> you don't know? Don't know. Oh, okay, are we going to win the cup? Um, yes. You were not sure about that, Alex. <laughs> I'm here with Zayam. We're outside uh, Prenton Park, Manchester United 6, Tranmere 0. Uh, first off, whose shirt you get today? Jesse Lingard's. Not bad, eh? A goal-scoring shirt. His first goal in... In, in, of 2020, his first goal. Well, has he equaled last year? He scored a goal last year, didn't he? Yeah, in he in the Europa. Astana, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, the first goal in the country since 2018. <laughs> and you got the shirt to commemorate it by. What did you make of that today? Yeah, I thought that we weren't against, against one of the best teams, but I think that we we got um, we play, it was good performance. Um, we pr really proved that we can do it, considering the. The last few performances were very poor, mm. and I think that this was a uh, really important game for us. Own, not because it's just against Tranmere, but we Oli really needed to win it, and the way that we did was really good. Do you think the, the FA Cup, the the cups are, are a big opportunity for us to, to get some silverware this season? And what's been a bad time? 
Yeah, I think that the FA Cup could be the way out because on our day we can beat Liverpool City. Most teams, like we did it before, and we were unlucky against Liverpool at home. So I think we can go all the way, but it depends which team turns up and injuries. Um, who was your man of the match day? Who impressed you the most and took their opportunity? Personally, I thought um, Jesse Lingard did well. Just because he gave you the share, right? No, no. Because you see what happens to me is because we interviewed him, I get when when I praise him, it means it's just because I interviewed him. So now I'm going to say to you, just because you got his shirt. No, I thought that he <laughs> sprayed the ball well, passed the ball out, got a good goal, and I think that it was, I think it was one of his best performances all season. Um, it was only Tranmere, though, right? But you have to beat what's in front of you. Um, did that make a difference today? Like, do you think? We kind of found our level. Yeah, I think that we can. We got. We got. We cannot. You can't pick who you get in the cup. So yeah. we've got Tranmere. We've only got to beat them. So yeah. we did exactly that. It started off well as well, which is a little bit of a worry. Uh, someone else earlier today said Romero should be starting in the big games as well. Um, do you agree with that? Another clean sheet for him today. I think that Romero is probably the best second choice keeper in the world. So I think that. De Gea is very, a very, very good keeper and so is Romero. So I think that De Gea has that good competition to make sure that he doesn't make any mistakes. 100%. Um, before you go, I want to ask you, I've asked everyone today, what do you make of the talk of, of a walkout? What, what would you say to your dad if your dad said, today, son, at the game, everyone's protesting against the ownership and they're going to leave the ground early? What would you say? I think that whatever we do, we, pro we protested against the Glazers for ages, but... They're not going to do anything, are they? They still, they, they, they're not going to do much if you walk out the stadium, are they? We're already in the ground, yeah. So I think that I don't, I don't think they're really fussed, but we're trying to make a difference. But I don't think they're really bothered. Would you get involved though, even if you think that? Yeah, but we've got to try and get behind the team ultimately, because if we're not supporting the team, they're not going to try and fund us. It's a little dilemma, in it, because yeah. like you want to support the team, you want to get behind the boys on the pitch, but. You know that what's going on above them isn't great. Yeah, I think that the team is a very good young team. I think that in a few years we'll be we can become one of the best. So I think that we need to keep supporting the team no matter what happens. Sayan, you're a legend, man. Appreciate it.